Okay, so it's highly recommended to have watched the Hemi non-VVT video before watching this uh, because I may forget some information that I said in the other one as I just go off the top of my head when we make these videos. We don't pre-plan them. We just go with it. Um, so once you watch that video, you'll have a full understanding of the concept of what we are doing so that it makes this video a hell of a lot easier to understand. Uh, and it also means that I don't have to make this video super long for no reason. Now, your base timing table here for part throttle spark, uh, you have air charge in grams and then you have your RPM. Most vehicles, unless they have a very large cam, will not reach one gram of air charge unless it has a, a, a big cam and it won't go over it unless you have boost typically so normally under these circumstances we leave part throttle alone now you may have to adjust your timing this video is not for how to adjust timing for boost it is how to set up your tables uh, for a vehicle that is going to that you're adding a supercharger turbo whatever your wide open throttle base table as you can see here it starts off a little bit higher at 0.35 and moves to 0.90 so one of the things that we are going to do is we are going to we're going to do this okay so we're going to go to 58 okay 58 down now when you make when you readjust the table you've got to adjust the data Okay, so we're going to go 58 down, we're going to copy that, okay? We're going to go to rows, we're going to edit the rows. Okay, let's say that, let's use 2 grams of air charge to be exact. Let's use 1 gram of air charge here. Let's go from here to here. Let's go here down. Okay, now this is something you're just going to have to play with on your own. Um, to figure out where you want to go because if your car no, gets nowhere near two, let's say your car only gets uh, one and a half grams, well, then set this at one and a half and adjust accordingly. So we had our 58, okay, and we adjusted it here. Now remember that when a vehicle makes boost, it needs less timing. Um, the cylinder charge is hot, there's more pressure, you can get pre deads, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that does make this easier. By me copying 58 and down and posting it up there, uh, I significantly lowered the amount of timing. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to copy 117, which is the last table it hit. Okay, and then we're going to go over one, paste, over one, well, over one and down, paste, over one and down, paste, over one and down, paste, over one and down paste. Now, all we're doing here is making a, a, a base table um, for your timing for wide open throttle. Okay, some of these numbers might still be a little bit too high. We recommend typically that you go with 10 degrees of timing to start off when you're tuning a v, when you're tuning time uh, for boost uh, as a base point. Okay, so let's. Just drop in some tens here. Okay, let's drop in some more tens here. Okay, so you can go through and just do this if you want. Okay, um, from there you can go like this. And you could lower it, you could do anything you need to in order to make this um, a little mess, a little more fluid of a, of a difference, okay? Now, again, this stuff is up to you. You can make this whole table 10 degrees if you want, if you want to be safe, okay? So from there, we're talking about logging, adding timing, taking timing away, seeing if you get knock retard, seeing if you can hear anything, seeing if the cop cars making power not making power obviously this is best done on a dyno but that doesn't mean that you can't actually do this on the street as well um, so that's the general of it so like I said make sure you watch the other video which is going to explain to you how to do this video um, now I do recommend 
um, even though these tables are zero, a lot of times I recommend when you have a perfect tune to paste the data over to here. Some of this stuff is going to change on its own, uh, which is the rows did. Um, if you do it the same thing here, if you adjust here, the rows will change here and vice versa. Wide open throttle thermal it has to do with the catalytic converter. So typically, if you have the cap protection turned off, you do not have to worry about this table. Um, but given the information uh, from this table, this is just part throttle base timing information, what goes in here. Um, you can change all the information here uh, and here and make it identical to your regular wide open throttle, which then you don't have to worry about your timing changing between tables because sometimes you'll be commanding 20 degrees of timing, but you're running 25 degrees because it's taking the difference between two tables. Um, again, barometric pressure. Um, I don't really remember what was done on this vehicle exactly um, to create this table. Uh, this table might be a stock table, uh, but again, you can play with the barometric pressure by, you could do up here, you could remove timing for safety, you could add timing down here, you could remove timing down there. Uh, again, there's no science to this part. This is something that you just do on your own and just kind of figure out uh, how you want things to be. Um, so, like I said, if you're watching this and you haven't watched the other video, go back and watch the other video so you get a little bit more understanding of what I'm talking about. Um, between the two videos, there's enough information that should get you started.